I'm hungry. Pop Tarts Frosted A and W Root Beer flavor. Topped with sweet white frosting and sugary sprinkles. Inside an unmistakable root beer filling. This flavor is part of Pop Tarts' new line of soda themed products. It's crazy good! I love Pop Tarts, I really do. But I think there may not be a food out there with a bigger identity crisis than the Pop Tart. Um, I'm not too well educated on the history of the Pop Tart. I mean, I know they date way back when, before I was even born, probably. Um, but I think I could piece together, you know, from what I've seen throughout my life. Um, when they first came out, they had just a certain set of flavors. They had, well, first of all, they had original and they had frosted. They, they kept those two separate. You can either get them with the frosting, this, you know, the, the shot of sugar right there, right there to see right in front of you, or you can get it original and like a little, you know, blase pouch looking thing. It came in cherry, uh, strawberry, blueberry, which they're all acceptable, fruit flavors, um, brown sugar, it's like a French toast, people eat that for breakfast, and chocolate, which I am going to give a pass to in this case because there are things like, you know, Cocoa Puffs or Choco Crunch, stuff of that nature, so. You know, they, they wanted to fool you into thinking that you were eating something healthy. I mean, it would even say on the box sometimes, contains real fruit, yeah. What real fruit is in a Pop-Tart? Like tiny, like little minuscule maybe nuggets of something they threw in a blender and like just completely turned to shit. Um, but yeah, then after that, we started seeing a little bit more weird flavors. Of, of course, there are usually flavors that they, they try to tie it in with, you know, the, the time period, like the decade that they were in. You have like wild berry Pop-Tarts that look like a freaking Ocean Pacific shirt from the 80s. Um, you have like chocolate chip cookie dough Pop-Tarts. You have chocolate chip Pop-Tarts, which I think are awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, tr uh, now they have confetti cupcake Pop-Tarts. What the hell happened to my breakfast? I mean, I'm still eating them for breakfast, but there's, they're not even hiding anymore. They're, they're so unhealthy. They're so far left. They, they forgot what they were originally supposed to be. Now, Look at this! Could we go even further left? We got soda-flavored Pop-Tarts. This isn't even the only one. They have an orange crush-flavored one, too. This is A&W Frosted Root Beer flavored. And what do we know about soda? What have we always been taught when we were kids about soda in the morning? I mean, there have been times, like when I was a little bitty sprout, where I would go up to the, you know, be first thing in the morning, I'd wake up, I'd go right to the kitchen, there'd be nothing to drink, so I'd just grab a soda, start pouring myself a, a little, you know, a little glass of soda first thing in the morning. Then my dad would come over around the corner and punch me in the face and get me into a cross arm chicken wing and say, Stop it! You are not supposed to drink soda for breakfast! Soda is not a morning thing! Soda is for, for, for lunch or dinner or a snack or something. Later in the day, one thing you're not supposed to do is drink soda in the morning. So, Pop-Tarts, they're, 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 they're so... They, what are you anymore? What am, what am I supposed to eat you? And now, now, I'm hearing rumors that they're gonna stop making the original Pop-Tarts and only make Frosted! What is it? I mean, I guess it's easier to wake your children up and give them some pep for the day when you just give them like a shot of sugar to their system. I mean, who cares about doing it the old-fashioned way with nutrition and vitamins A through K? But anyway, to those of you who don't know and you have to be living under a rock, I mean, this is what a Pop-Tart looks like. Um, don't microwave these pouches, by the way, because I did that once before and this big blue flame shoots at it and goes <laughs> Looks like a jumping jack firework. Um, this is the first time I'm looking, locking eyes with these things, and they do look very root beer-esque. Smell very root beer-esque. You'll see little spices there. Um, it smells a lot like a root beer barrel candy. Um, you know, it's not going to probably be the worst thing in the world. In fact, I'm probably going to think it's very tasty, but it's just... What is it at this point? I, I, I don't understand what a Pop-Tart is. Am I just, just supposed to put it like a scoop of ice cream on you and eat you as a dessert now? I don't know. It tastes like root beer. Pretty freaking wild. I'm wishing that I had like some milk or something like there because it's hard to eat this with a dry mouth. 
It's kind of, you know, it's like a sponge. It sucks all the spit in your mouth away from you. It kind of makes it hard to concentrate on the taste. The crust could be softer. Um, there are certain Pop-Tarts where the crust is purposely made very coarse. Um, this is one of them. I forget which one, which other one. I think maybe the brown sugar, cinnamon's a little bit tougher. Um, the chocolate, the, there's an Oreo Pop-Tart, <laughs> Oreo Pop-Tart, which um, its crust is a little bit, it, it has the same texture. Um, but it tastes great. I wouldn't want to eat this first thing in the morning, but, you know, because it really does taste like soda. It has that root beer, maybe not a root beer taste, but it tastes like the root beer candies that you get, like at a 5 and 10 store. It's just like, it's hard to come up with a grade for this because how am I supposed to be eating this? Am I supposed to be eating it now, which is it's morning time? Am I supposed to be eating it later in the day? Am I supposed to put it in the toaster? Maybe I should put it in the toaster. You can tell it's been toasted because it's got that trademark Pop-Tart curl. It's no longer a flat item. It's got like a little, looks like a skateboard ramp. And now I'll take a bite of this and I'll see what I think. Hot root beer. To be honest, heating it up takes away a lot of the taste. I can taste more the crust than the actual filling. And I can taste like what the crust tasted like before they put the flavor in. That's what I'm tasting right now. All this other stuff, the sprinkles, like all the seasoning, the filling itself, which was really strong before, I'm not tasting it now. All I'm tasting is crust, which is a bust. How the heck are you supposed to eat these things? You know. I once heard like on a commercial they had like like the, the confetti cupcake flavor, they had like they had like limited edition flavors that you actually had to put in the freezer. Should I put these in the freezer? I'm gonna put them in the freezer. Just so you know that we're doing this all in real time, there's no trick photography here. Look at my hands. See how purple they are? Ooh. I did a whole bunch of other episodes of Limbo Grub while I was waiting for this thing to ice up in the freezer. Um, this is from the dragon fruit that I ate just a second ago. Dragon fruit coming soon to Limbo Grub. Um, but yeah, I'm looking right now at this and I'm going to pull it out of its little cellophane sleeve and it feels very, very hard to the touch. Uh, the memories are just coming right back to me. Um, I'll take a bite and I'll see what I, what I think. All right. If you're gonna eat it like this, I hope you have a nice, strong set of chompers because holy crap, this outer layer is hard. Once again, it's just like the outer layer of it, the Pop-Tart itself, the actual tart part, tart part. <clears throat> it takes away from the taste because the texture is so like, so like hard and tough. It almost tastes kind of stale. 
But this is a fresh, I'm telling you, this is fresh. This is fresh. I wouldn't lie to you people. But it takes away from the actual taste that's on the inside. Um, I don't, I mean, it's okay, I'll finish it. It's, it's not bad for, for a snack, but I'm not gonna be fulfilled by it. So, how, how the heck do you eat this? Do you freeze it? Do you toast it? Do you just eat it right out of the box? I say, of the three, eat it right out of the box because you can taste it the best. I mean, the, the actual pastry is kind of tough. It's tougher than I would like it to be. That kind of gets in the way of tasting that delicious root beer barrel taste. You would think that freezing this thing would be the ideal way to eat this, but no, it kind of gets in the way because the, the outer layer gets so hard It's almost an effort to break it off. So, I mean, that wasn't the, it wasn't that way with the other ones, the ones that were intended to be frozen. It's just this one. So, I almost want to label this as a failure. Um, so if I were to give this a star rating, I'll give it two and a half stars. I don't want to give Pop-Tarts that low a score because I love Pop-Tarts, but this is kind of, kind of blasé. You know, it's, it's shockingly boring. Um, it has a light root beer taste, um, but it's nothing spectacular. And you think, then, you know, they, the commercials are on the air. Look at this! Wow! Look at this new product! It's soda flavor Pop-Tarts! In your face! Boom! In 3D! You would think it would be something awesome when you took your first bite, but it was underwhelming. I mean, I'm not excited. I'm not, you know, I'm not the town crier shouting to the masses, hey, you know, hear about this thing that I just tasted. It's, it's awesome. I'll shout it to the heavens. No, this is, even, even the one straight out of the box, which I was, you know, I would come the close to raving about, it wasn't that great. So I, I definitely would not get these again. Um, I say if you are to get Pop-Tarts, get the s'mores flavored or, um, or the cookies and cream flavored. Um, those are my two tops. They're definitely not breakfast food, but they'll tide you over. And um, I guess that's all I have to say about this one. So until next time, I'll see you in limbo. Do you have any other breakfast items that I can taste that, I, that my tongue hasn't tasted yet and um, you're willing to send to me? Let me know in the comment section down below and um, I'll see you next time, guys. Ta-ta. <laughs> Damn, that one was an effort. <laughs>